Today I'm going to be painting this. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Dawson and today I'm going to be using this photograph taken about 17 years ago of my old chocolate Labrador dog and I'm going to be creating this painting. Small, 18 by 24 centimetres, but it's a painting of Harvey. Harvey was great and uh, it's great to finally see him in painted form. Uh, this probably I'll probably do another one in the future but this is the first one of Harvey I've done. Anyway, let's watch the video and see how I did it. So with this painting, what I've done is, it's a small panel, it's only 18 centimetres by 24 centimetres. Um, it's a hardboard with well, MDF, a 3 millimetre MDF with a quite a nice... So starting on this board, it's a 3 millimetre MDF board with a linen uh, uh, glued over the top. It's really, there's really lovely boards. Um, 18 centimetres by 24 and I've prepared it with just quite simply some uh, burnt umber with liquid. Uh, I did it the other day so I left it to dry overnight and as normal I've just done a quick drawing and sketch outline of where I want the main parts of Harvey on this and I'm just going to quickly go over everything with this. This is very much underpainting uh, what I'm doing first off so probably uh, probably take about 45 minutes or so just to quickly get some semblance of the tones in there so what i'll start to do with this burnt umber um and maybe a little bit of raw sienna and for the highlights i'll put some just titanium white in there again mixed with a uh, liquid liquid original and just going over all the different parts to fill out as much as i can a lightness of my little Harvey. So what I'm kind of kind of mindful of is to not add too much detail in this part, not too much detail into the background. Um, and I don't want I'm trying to try my hardest to shy away from doing a copy of the background. Sort of eventually what I want is uh, something that is very much soft focus background as a more of a misty feel of it's what I remember about Harvey even though this was actually quite a sunny day what I remember about him is just being there in the misty fog on the, usually in the winter where it's really murky but I don't want it to be too horrid weather just uh, kind of a, uh, just what I remember of Harvey So I've skipped a little bit further on now, I've added um, just a little bit of colour in, a little bit more uh, colour and detail into the background. Not particularly happy with that at the moment though, um, but I'll come back to that in a second. Again, I really want it to be a lot more soft focus, even though it's fair or very abstract at the moment. Adding in the general lighting direction, make sure that the highlights are kind of worked out in the right place. I'm not going to add in really very much of the colour on this one. Just want to make sure that there's enough dark area in the shadows. And again, I'm just picking out the just areas of highlight and different colours that I can come back to when this is uh, dried up. But again, with everything here, getting everything in the right place, making sure I'm not putting really any brush strokes that are going in the wrong direction. So the all the brush strokes working out going as with uh, the fur direction as much as possible and just so that uh, when I come to do the overpainting on top of this that uh, we haven't got any ridges that are kind of really distracting going the uh, wrong direction as it were. I've left this overnight and what I'm going to do now is the main Sort out this uh, dark area uh, on the left hand side. Um, it's fairly tricky when I've got this uh, lighting and camera set up. There's a, I'm using a gloss photo, the light's reflecting off it, so it's kind of tricky for me to actually see what's what. Um, but I didn't want to go to the, I didn't want to actually scan the picture 
put it on the iPad so it's a little bit easier to see it, or I could zoom in easier because uh, I'll lose some of the colour and uh, detail that I really want to keep. Although having said that, um, I don't, the way I remember Harvey, I don't remember him being as uh, as much red in his fur. I thought it was very much more a traditional kind of a chocolatey uh, brown colour. But hey, it's, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I think probably a combination of what I remember and what the photograph uh, references to tell me. So all this I'm just using a uh, number four uh, hog bristle brush. I'll, probably, I'll use this for most of this kind of uh, first stage of getting some more colour on. And then I'll use uh, for probably a few other different brushes to actually add a few little fur highlights. This isn't uh, also with the, the uh, texture of the linen. I'm not going to be making this uh, massively detailed. I want to keep some uh, brush strokes in, in with this. So I intend this to take probably a few hours today so on day two. So probably in total probably about four, four hours of painting time. Maybe I'll revisit this at a later date and do something larger. I'm a little bit further on now and what I've been doing is adding a little bit of detail into Harley's ear. And those of you who know Labradors, they've got two, two, two or three types of fur. They have quite a coarse fur on their body, well, a kind of outer fur. Then they have a very downy under fur, like undercoat as it were. But on their ears and the head, the fur is a lot finer. Um, so that's something that I want to try and recreate going forwards. But I want to make it more of a uh, a sheen of colour on his uh, head and ears, although I want to pick up some of the little wisps on his ears. Um, his jowls, oh, <laughs> a slobber of uh, getting those jowls right. Um, did he always look like he was smiling? Uh, well, all Labradors look like they're smiling and happy all the time. So that's the point we're going now. You'll notice, uh, I didn't mention, but you'll notice that I softened the uh, background. I'm happier with this kind of background at the moment, although the video does make it look a slightly different colour to reality. Something I'll have to look at in the future. But again, uh, kind of keen at this moment to get his gums and jowls looking as close to the finish as we as I want. And then probably I'll have a, a quick break and then come back to his fur. I'm using a fairly broad or broad for this painting, uh, number four a black hog uh, bristle brush here uh, with very little paint on it, just almost a kind of a dry brushing but uh, the paint is fairly wet. But just on a few of the uh, bristles and just going over the different sections. I'll blend this all in afterwards but I just wanted to get a few dabs of paint on there. Also I've been using a uh, an old-ish fan brush to scrape a little bit of paint onto uh, the ears. So for that I use uh, some burnt sienna uh, to actually get to give it the a bit of more uh, warmth rather than the umber which is fairly muted in that respect. Um, added a little bit of as you can see blue highlights so uh, ultramarine blue with some uh, burnt umber uh, to his coat a little bit and yeah, the highlight on the photograph is actually, which you can see now, it's actually a moving highlight from the uh, reflection. But I'm happy with the, the way the light is coming down, I'm happy that everything is pretty much in the right place. The, the angle that I've got the camera at, sorry about that, the angle I've got the camera at uh, kind of foreshortens it and it makes his snout look a lot uh, shorter than it actually is, uh, well, than it actually is on the paint, uh, the photograph reference. So 
The final few parts I'm doing now is a little bit more detail, put a bit of foreground, a few little wisps of grass in the foreground, a little bit of change their highlight colour on their background to just give, give a little bit of uh, more depth to the picture a little bit of mid-ground area um, I changed a little bit of uh, the uh, colour around uh, the ch Harvey's chin just to bring it up a little bit because I felt it was a little bit too low down then the final part is the buckle and his name tag on his collar just simply get that in there don't want to the, the key point to oh, no, pretty much every painting is not to distract from the face. So I don't want to do too much detail everywhere else that would distract from the actual face of the subject. The face being uh, Harvey's mouth, tongue, nose and eyes. Uh, so that's the real key part of it all. So there you have it. One finished painting. Really enjoyed it. It's great. Well there we have it, it's all finished. I really enjoyed doing this. It only took a few hours, but it's great to see this pet portrait. Uh, I'm definitely going to be do more dogs and animals in the future. Um, and I will do another one of Harvey, probably a larger scale, um, maybe with something else, some other props or something with it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and indeed, share it with anyone who may be interested. Enjoy your painting. Bye now.